we have a few open readers. The first will be Park Cove. Uh, I'm going to read about a little uh, trip to New York. I got obsessed by staying in this uh, city of Boston, so I have some ride in New York. I'm going to write a little bit of uh, spending a life in 12 hours there. Riding straight to New York, not knowing what's going on, just taking a ride, arriving in 5.05 a.m., drizzling like an April shower, not caring about anything except having a really good time, hoping that something's going to come through, something is going to come through. A nice Tommy Davidson sitting on 8th Avenue, fat box style, a purple radical, waiting for it to happen. What happens, when it happens, I'll be back. I don't know what's up, because it's been up so long. Down and dirty, that's one way to, to go, because I've been suspended into a realm of ghosts and goblins, warriors and witches, into the upper plateau, where nothing's sacred, only the dead are living. Pokies on the streets that are impossible to erase, any style available with all the states. One from Carolina, another one from the Bronx. Man, if I was rich, I'd be fucking re recklessly, like dominoes being knocked down concurrently in a loop-de-loop -loop style. Fuck it all, man. New York's action brings true life back on the streets. Uh, this is another short type poetry. Pain that entangles you in a mystery of a frenzy seems to be the only solution to realize what true life stands for. The animalistic aspects of the self is a true propagation that we're not standing for. The mindless view of the entrapment of the so-called social scene that only you and I can understand. The fight for world peace isn't too complex of a resolution that would keep the evolution of true life in balance. The only altercation in this flow is loss of true love and the mystical surroundings of true nature within. The female evolution to male is the more certain reason as a troubled world we live through. The only solution of the matter is to keep the yin for the yang, the water for the fire, the right way for right living. But no, the vicious circle keeps rotating like a stiff prick on a ferris wheel, not knowing when to get off. The troubled world that is so simple to please. Stoned again. It's amazing. The sounds are floating through the clouds like lightning striking through the core of heaven. What a ghostly experience, damn it. Escapism through reality that threatens society from the soles of the feet, worn through the middle, so to speak. When, when I look into the past, and at last, the past is here. I'm gonna read that one more short. Uh, life is a lawsuit with a never-ending battle on court decisions. Fight it for what you can. Ignore all suggestions just to be yourself. The metaphysical, untechnological mind will quiver and shape its way into reality for a true evolution to succeed in the understanding of true life once again. Thank you. Um, that was Parko. 